The coaches produced by Ignaz Schustela at his workshops in Koprivnice were renowned for their quality and reliability and were sold all over Europe. An important milestone in the history of Tatra came in 1897 when its first automobile, the President, was built, becoming the very first passenger car in Central Europe. In the mid-1930s, it attracted great attention racing through the streets of Prague. 1898 brought another first. The first truck in the Czech lands was manufactured. The vehicle featured an original design involving the use of two engines that could be coupled when the truck needed to cross more difficult terrain. Hans Ledvinka designed the Model T open-body vehicle. A water-cooled four-cylinder engine delivered a constant speed of almost 90 kilometers an hour, helping to win several road races. The Tatra T11 represented a complete revolution in automobile history. New design features became part of the renowned Tatra vehicle concept. The central backbone tube with swing rear half axles and independent wheel suspension allowed the manufacture of a broad range of different chassis modifications. Designers from Kopřivnice offered customers a wide assortment of vehicle types. One of these was even a steamroller. The elegant Tatra 57 won a great following for its minimum maintenance requirements and superb reliability. Buses built on Tatra T23 and T24 chassis handled the most difficult routes of the streets of Prague with the steepest climbs. The Tatra 77 became yet another first from the Kopřivnice factory, the world's first mass-produced passenger car with a strictly aerodynamic frameless body. Expanding product range to meet all the requirements of the times is a Tatra Kopřivnice trademark. Aircraft powered by Tatra engines set many remarkable records. The Slovak Missile Express train was manufactured in Kopřivnice in 1936. With two control stations located on opposite sides of the train, it featured an aerodynamic body and traveled at high speed. In 1942, Tatra introduced the celebrated T111 truck, fitted with a 12-cylinder air-cooled engine. This model was in production until the 1960s, repeatedly proving its worth even under the harshest conditions of Siberia. The list of passenger cars began with the popular Tatra Plan, which was soon after replaced by the T603 limousine. Later, the Tatra 613 came along and was completed by the T700 luxury limousine. The production of passenger cars was shut down in 1998. The Tatra 138 came with a number of design innovations, as well as the careful finishing of all design details. This proved useful in the most difficult operating conditions of the Siberian Taiga. The Tatra 813 was built for operation in the most demanding terrain. Prior to building a prototype of this four-axle tractor, a functional chassis sample was manufactured to undergo the most difficult tests. The Tatra 815 was designed to withstand both the deep frosts of Siberia and the hot sands of the Sahara. This is the special Tatra 816 Wildfire fire engine, built to undergo demanding tests in the United States. The main representative of the Tern 1 family is a three-axle tipper with disengageable front-wheel drive. It can be delivered in various modifications and is intended for mixed service. All-wheel drive vehicles with 4x4, 6x6 and 8x8 axle configuration fitted with Tatra's own independently suspended swing half axles provide for great vibration dampening and higher traffic speed in both off-road and poor on-road conditions. The heavy dumpers of the T163 family are intended for the most difficult conditions and harshest terrain.
Armax trucks, derived from the well-tried Tern 1 family, are produced for military forces and take advantage of all design features of the Tatra vehicles. The force line also served for military purposes as they meet the highest possible requirements for both on and off-road service. In 1925, two Tatri 11s achieved fantastic results in the Targa Florio race that took place in Italy. Czechoslovak crews took the top two positions in the 1100cc category. The Tatra Plan Sport, there have been only two units ever built in the factory and both reached great accomplishments in several races. One of the most successful race cars was the Tatra 607 Monoposto, designed as a mobile test shop for the Tatra 603. The Paris-Dakar Rally and Tatra trucks are synonymous. Several victories by Karol Lopreis and excellent achievements by Tomasz Tomecek only prove the qualities of Tatra vehicles. In 2001, Stanislav Maciejowski and his Tatra race truck became European champions in the super race truck category. The names of Jiri Hanzelka and Miroslav Sigmund will forever be joined to the Tatra 87. They perhaps inspired the crew of the Tatra 815 GTC to travel around the world. When Ignaz Schustela manufactured his first horse-drawn coaches in a small workshop in Kopchevice back in 1850, he probably never imagined that he had laid the foundations of a factory whose importance would eventually last over centuries.